Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So today I'm going to cover one much awaited subject which is environment. I have the Shankar IS environment book with me that I use for preparation. I also have the prelims questions book uh 27 years prelims questions so that I can kind of give you some context and I made some notes which I will also post on my community channel and I will show you some online resources that I used but these are also available on PDF that I will upload to, on Google Drive from which uh, you can download these particular PDFs also. I just want to tell you before I go into details of environment strategy that I covered environment very exhaustively meaning I went into quite a lot of depth. I covered three main sources and the reason I did that was because I always thought that environment was a very very important subject from prelims perspective also and from mains perspective also. Because in prelims, UPSC also takes the prelims for, uh, in the same exam for Indian for, uh, Forest Service. So that's why a lot of environment questions come every year. So basically, I've divided the environment syllabus into four main parts. And this is on the lines of what is given in Shankar IS also. The first part is the ecology. The ecology section is basically all the fundamentals and basics of the environment syllabus and these consist of things like ecosystems, biodiversity, species interactions etc. And I will show you the different uh, topics also later on. Then the second one is climate change. The third one is natural park, national parks and reserves etc. Basically various, various kind of species that are these, this is focused on India only. Species found in India, what are the different national parks in India, wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserves. And then finally, the fourth part would be the acts and policies which are important and which you need to study for the purpose of the exam. So let's look into the ecology section. For the ecology section, the main topics are these. I will also tell you from where I got these topics. Basically, matter, energy and systems. This is this particular topic is about what is the nature of matter? What is the nature of energy and how these various things interact on the earth to create ecosystems? to create exchange of energy between different species and different animals. So that entire thing is covered in this and this is very very important because from here only your understanding of the ecosystems and ecology as a whole will start. From where to study also I will tell you. Then ecosystems, evolution, biodiversity. In biodiversity basically you will study about flora, fauna and various species. So different between ecosystem and biodiversity is in biodiversity you specifically study about different kind of species of flora and fauna that are found in the on the earth. But ecosystems is more about the collective systems of uh, various in, um, various organisms that interact with each other. So this is more about interaction of different organisms and how they live in a particular uh, portion of the earth or particular system in the earth. But this is more about those particular individuals. Then species interactions, how these interactions happen, population control, how population control is naturally built into the ecosystems and how it is otherwise uh, done, climate and ter terrestrial biodiversity, aquatic biodiversity. So the biodiversity can be flora, fauna, etc. can be divided into terrestrial and aquatic majorly. Then Indian ecology is separate in which you need to know about Indian fauna and flora, Indian wetlands, problem of Indian pollution, land and soil concepts, water sources in India and other such concepts. Now this particular ecology section, the source for this is, there is a book which is known as Essentials of Ecology. Then there is another book GK Today Ecology Notes. And then there is the third book, Shankar IS book. These are the three books that I personally refer to. And I think these are one of the best sources. All these three sources are some of the best sources. And you just, if you do the three sources properly, I don't think you need to do anything more than that. So Essentials of Ecology is a book, which is, it is an American book, I think, written by this Miller and Spoolman. You can find this book online. I downloaded this book online. And then I studied from this book. I have made notes also of this book and those notes I will also make available. You can just simply download these notes instead of downloading the whole book and study from the notes. Basically in this book, 
all the fundamentals of ecology and environment that i have discussed here all these topics except the indian ecology these are all covered in this particular book and they are covered in a very nice uh, detail uh, in such a way that you will actually come to understand the whole ecology topic uh, and in this book there are also case studies there are also uh, examples and very simple language is actually used english very simple english is used to explain these concepts there have a lot of diagrams also through which you can study and it might seem like a big book it's 200 pages or something uh, 383 pages but lot of it is an excess so minus that it's only 200 pages so 200 pages might seem like a lot but once you study this book you will get a very deep understanding of this topic and you will be able to answer a lot of questions through elimination because your understanding will improve so much so a lot of these diagrams are given and from this you can remember a lot of things okay so the second source that i used was this gk today note on environment this is a 96 page note not very long and all these different topics are also covered here ecology and ecosystems framework around biodiversity conservation wetlands india focused hai book so a lot of indian concepts are covered in this book indian flora and fauna is covered in this book so that's why i really like this is a must if you are doing shankar is even then this is a must so i think you should start with this book like i have shown here you should start with this book and you should read chapter 2 through chapter 11 don't need to uh, read chapter 1 that you can read in the last you can read from chapter 2 to 11 in one go and you can refer to my notes for a quick read also and you don't need to read each and every word of the book just skim it read it fast like a story and that should be enough because you just want to get your concepts right your fundamentals right and if you need to go back then you can go back to that particular chapter so i would recommend either print out my notes my notes are not very long i will share them uh, in google drive below in the description so you can download it from there or you can just simply use uh, this book you can print it out or you can read it on your tab or on your laptop or on your phone also the second thing is GK Today Ecology Notes. You have to do all the chapters sequentially like they are given 95 pages. Both these should take you maximum 20-25 days. Once you are done with this, this will become very easy to understand. Because Shankar Ayer's book is like Lakshmi Kant. It doesn't teach you the fundamentals. It doesn't teach you the basics. It doesn't form your foundation for that particular subject. So I don't recommend reading Shankar Ayer's directly. Just like I don't recommend reading Lakshmi Kant. I first want you to understand the foundations and then reading Shankar IIS is super easy. You can just get it done very quickly. And in Shankar IIS also I've given you various uh, exact kind of sequence in which you should read. Chapter 25, 23, 22 and then 17 to 21. This should be the batch one. First you should do this. If you have done this, first you should do this. Then batch 2 you should do 26 to 29 chapters and 24. Batch 3 and 4 you should do 1 to 4 and 9 to 16. And then last batch you should do 5 to 8. The reasons I have given you these batches is because these are similar topics. So they are categorized in one batch. And I have jumbled up the sequence according to how you first read your fundamentals and then you go to this book. And it will be much easier for you to grasp this book then. These chapters 25 to 17. These chapters are actually not covered in the two sources that I showed you. Uh, so this 25, if you look at the 25 chapter, 25th chapter is about acts and policies. Then the next chapter is on institutions and measures. These chapters are obviously not covered in this online sources that I just showed you. So that's why I have recommended the reading that way. So these are the ecology topics which are all covered in the book that I told you and my notes also. Indian ecology you can get from GK Today notes that I've just shown you. You can download them from, from my web page or from my <coughs> description also. For climate change, you need to study the basics of climate change. That basically what is a greenhouse effect? How does climate change occur? What is an ozone uh, layer and how does it get affected due to pollution um, and climate change? Mitigation of climate change organizations and various frameworks so basically climate change mein do parts hain do ya teen parts keh sakte hain there are three parts in climate change one is the basics of climate change basically what is the chemistry and how does it happen the second is mitigation mitigation means 
how to stop climate change, how to reduce the effects of climate change. And for that, you will have to study organizations and various frameworks that have been created to fight climate change. So basically the United Nations, UNEP, UNFCCC, these are various organizations that, that have started various mitigation efforts for climate change. So you have to study all different kind of organizations involved in climate change. You have to study what are the different meets that they have. They have every year they have some meet or the other. You have to also understand the funding. So basically climate change ke three parts. Hai. Basics of climate change. Then what are the various uh, uh, you know frameworks or what are the various organizations that are working for climate change and what is the funding pattern of climate change. Funding itself is a huge topic in climate change. There are at least 10 different uh, ways of funding for climate change. For that, you will find that online document. When you do your Google search, you will find that document on UNFCCC website. So go to UNFCCC website and download the basics of use, uh, climate change funding arrangements and various terms that are related to that. Right. So these are the things that you need to study for climate change. You can also find this in the Shankar, but Shankar is not very clear. To be honest, Shankar just covers a lot of things but it is not very clear so in if you go to climate change here so in this they have given you various organizations of climate change UNFCCC protocols but you should understand ki protocol made kya difference hai versus meets mein. you know what is the difference between a protocol and a meet versus what is the difference between UN triple uh, UNFCCC and a protocol what uh, you know what, what is the difference between a meet and a summit that you should also understand what is a COP you know what is to understand that you need to really read this through the UN websites. There is no other source, no other coaching institute or no one has really been able to uh, able to summarize it. It is hard to summarize. Uh, similarly, IPCC, what is IPCC? What is the difference between UN FCCC and IPCC? Uh, what is the GEF? What is RED, RED plus? These have all topics have come in UPSC and they will likely again come. If something new is happening, that will also come. So there is a lot of current affairs here also. So I would say first try to understand these basics. For that, you will have to study the GK Today um, booklet I that told you. You have to study Shankar IS and you have to also do online search from the um, website of UNFCC and all these other organizations. So then you can draw your own notes. You can make your own notes. I had made these notes, but I can't find them. I had made some hard copy notes. Unfortunately, I can't find them. If I find them, I will post them. Okay. So these are the various things you need to study for climate change. Then the third part of environment is national parks, reserves, etc. So we, there is a list of various national parks, wildlife reserves, wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserves. You should draw a map for these. So the way I studied all these and remembered all these is I took the India map. In one India map, I drew all the northeast ones. In the second India map, I drew all the ones in North India, Central India, West India, South India and then islands of India. So these different kind of national parks, wildlife sanctuaries I made, I basically noted them down on the map. I also listed along with it the rivers close to that particular wildlife sanctuary or the national park and the main animals, major animals and major flora, major kind of plants or trees that are found in that particular area. And then I just used to keep looking at that map again and again. And like that, I was able to remember and easily answer a lot of questions. Because without the map study, you cannot really, really understand national parks. It is a really geography based kind of a thing. Okay. Because certain animals are found in certain regions. For example, red panda, it is found in Sikkim. There is a particular national park in Sikkim where it is found and it is not found anywhere. And it is very likely that UPSC can ask a question like that because it's an exception. It is a very important animal. It is a spe indicator species. So that's why you need to study that. And uh, of course, species of animals, their habitats and rivers. See, rivers are very important because normally the boundaries of a national park are formed by a particular river or multiple rivers. So normally UPSC asks rivers year after year. So I will show you even an example of that. So this is, I will go into the environment section. Yeah, here you go. See here, UPSC in 2020 asked question about Barasinga. That where is the 
uh which which pa- park or wildlife sanctuary is famous for its conservation now if you have studied this through the indian uh, wildlife sanctuary national park map you can take the oxford map try to locate in that and you can you can google it you can easily find this kind of questions uh this is also there in gk today similarly musk deer what is the habitat again same you know if you have studied this, if you have done this particular study both these questions you will get right similarly um uh, here upsc has asked a question about uh various terms like climate smart village ccafs common carbon metric r2 code of practices this you can pick up from current affairs and when you're studying shankar ai some of this will be covered and like i told you that you need to definitely study these things uh, these kind of current affair topics um and these will be mostly covered in the climate change uh, topic apart from that UPSC every year asks something about coal or copper smelting plants. So these are the common kind of questions every year UPSC is asking. Okay. Similarly, social cost of carbon. What is so? It is asking basic concepts, basic concepts, uh, or terminology or keywords that are used by various new initiatives that are coming into or various kind of research that is being done by world organizations. So I would suggest that is how you study. and then see there is a question on protected areas located in kaveri area kaveri basin and this it has given the four uh, different areas so if you have studied the kaveri basin that you know kaveri basin kaveri river uh, and uh, where it is located which state it passes through and which are the main national parks that lie around it then you can easily answer that question so that's why i tell you that study from the maps it is very important to study from the maps so and finally the last topic is acts and policies this is given in shankar is i have also covered it in the sources that i have told you so it will become very easy for you to study so this is my strategy for studying upsc environment section i have given you the sources the three main sources are used it will not take you should not take you more than i would say 20 to 30 days to finish all this focus just on environment in one go finish it do some old papers do some questions from old papers because it is very important that you are actually able to answer these questions if you are not able to answer the questions that means you are not studying it correctly and there is there some tweak you need to make in how you study then it is not about the sources it is not about the syllabus it is more about how you are studying so i have given you what to study how to study it uh, and i hope you follow this in order to score well thanks if you have any questions let me know in the comments bye